Before I begin this episode, who would have reckoned no kin, I'd like to tell you guys one thing real quick. You guys are only gonna get one episode oh, of one of my LPs today. Now, don't you guys groan, because there is a reason for it. Thursday, where I'm usually busy in a way, I kind of have the day off that week. I mean that day, so... I'll expect the next episode of Randomizer Red to show up there. So without further ado... military might. Saint Emil Elmine, he moved west. Hest and her sacred name flourished among the artisans of Etruria. The horseman Hannon's legacy lived on the nomads and of his beloved plains of Sakai. The birthplace of the Knight Brigand is now home to the renowned Knights of Elia. Oh yeah, very good, my bad. The Berserker, the Berserker Durban's final glory was to create a warrior clan in the Western Isles. The Arch Sage Athos Moses is said to have retired to the barren west wastelands of Nabata. Here, here's the champion Roland found themselves. Remember, the, the hairs of the champion Roland and themselves became the lords of the Lycian League. Elib has enjoyed peace that spans for 980 years. How much longer can this peace stand before its foundations begin to crumble? Deep within the Lycian League, Eglise Ferre, a, a land that has, no, has known no conflict for many generations, which finds itself touched by the shadow of unease. It, its beloved and benevolent ruler, Lord Elibert, has, mysteri has mysteriously vanished. Elibert has a as a member of Swarm Man, the loyal knights serve at his side. A mountain a, in a, a month has passed without a word from Marquis. Rumors of his death abound. However, the Marquis's son believes his father lives, and has vowed to find him. Marquis Frere's son, alive, a red-haired youth, who will one day become the finest knight in all of Lycia. His long journey begins here. Hey everybody, this is DGK introducing you to the next part of my Reckon Ocan LP. Last time we took down Lundgren, and this time we're taking leave, as the chapter says. Loyal Iwood, we leave on your word. I see. Thank you, Marcus. Marcus. Mother, it's time for us to go. Well, I would promise me you'll return to me safely. 
I'm worried about your father, but... If anything were to happen to you, I could not bear that sorrow. I know, Mother. Please, do not worry. Father is alive. I know it. I vow I'll find, I will find him and turn him to your side. I have your word, then. Yes, of course. Isadora, I entrust my mother to you, to you in my absence. Yes, my lord, I'll guard her well. Mother, I will return. Rest easy. Well, Marcus, looks like it's just the two of us. Not so, my lord. My man, Lo Lowen, will be traveling with us. Lowen? That's reassuring. I sent him to... So to head, head to the village. He ho hopes to seek out a few able men skilled at arms. Normally, I wouldn't venture forth without a larger company, but... I bow to your, your will on this matter, your loyal I would. I'm sorry, Mar I am sorry, Marcus. I'd rather not deprive my mother. Her of even a single guard. The best knights in the realm disappeared with my father. If anything were to happen to my mother while I'm gone, I... I understand, my lord. So, what's keeping Lowen? Wow, testing much. We've got all the... Hate of... We have all heard that the noise of Ferrer's vanished, right? Thanks, Marcus, for saying that out loud. It was all I would. Well, misfortune is my good luck. I have an announcement to make. As of now, the village is mine. Gronzi, here's your new liege. Now, bring me every last piece of gold, down to the smallest flark. Well, that's not good. Lord Lywood, Commander Marcus, I... Lowen, calm yourself. A knight must be in control of all times. The village is under attack. It's bandits. What? Bandits? Here? Marcus, why are you surprised? This is Fire Emblem. Well, bandits are you to go to first mooks you fight. Are you sure, Lowen? This girl has more details. My loyal, I would. I'm the daughter of the village. Village Magistrate. My name's Rebecca. Bandits came without warning. They're stealing everything. I beg you. Please help us. That was a horrible Western accent. I apologize. I see. Marcus, Lord, we must save the village. Yes, my lord. Rebecca, you stay here and keep out of sight. If it would be please you, if it would please you, my lord, I'd rather fight. I hunt almost every day, and I have some skill with a bow. Is that so? Very well, but be careful. Yes, my lord. <laughs> well, Lywood, one more thing. There's another... Uh, there's another in the village who has offered to help. A tactician who is staying in at the end. A tactician? Yes, my lord. This is DGK. Sup, bitches! DGK! Do you know this person, my lord? Can't really see. Yes, I met the DGK here during the trouble of one Galen last year. A fantastic military advisor, if memory serves. If not for DGK, the Marquis of Galen and his granddaughter, Erlin, ma might not have survived Lundgren's uprising. I'll bring you see here to fray, my friend. Well, let's just say some stupid shit has happened, and I move. I went here. Ha! Still traveling about, uh, about, about honing your skills? Uh, not what I said, but sure, that works. Of course, a worthy pursuit. Let's give thanks to Providence for our chance reunion. We have need to have your aid. Please lend us your skill.
Yep, this is officially when the training glove, I mean the training bra comes off in this game. Might as well talk about the units. Rebecca here, she's part of something I like to call... Well, the female archer archetype. Hey, Blair. Do they show up? Up when... When you've already... When you've already known about... Well, it's... It's a male archer. I... Though... Ne though Nemi from Sacred Stones... Possibly some other first female archer like units don't exactly count. Anyway. Hey. She's also a bit more speedy than I'd say. Hey, um Um She's known to be a lot more speedy than... I mean, they're usually known to be a lot more speedier than their male counterparts. I know it sounds like a brash statement, but it's pretty damn true. Anyway... I'm ignoring the... I'm kind of ignoring the elephant in the room. Oh! Hello! Look, Dorcas! I mean, look, Dorcas, can you believe it? It's just like the knight said. That's a that's a Lord of the Livewood. So it seems. What is he doing? Hey, he's taking on those bandits! Protecting innocents? That's a right, right Lordy thing to do, isn't it? Right, Dorcas? You talk too much. The Lord Light needs our help. Right! Leave those mo potent weaklings to me. I'm Bartray the Brave! Anywho, next up is Lowen. He is a guy I don't normally use, so I can't really vouch much for him. Um. Dorcas, we already know. Oh, considering that we kind of met up with him. Hey, Batre, he's part of the archetype of fighter duos. Those oh, kind of the board heard in chord board archetypes. Dorcas is more known for skill, while Batre is more speed based. is a pretty damn good strat. I'll say this. What I was doing there, there with that archer is a pretty damn smart strategy to do. Especially when you're dealing with archers. Just box them in. Now, this was his Hector story, as the intro has said. And then I would be more concerned on training Batre, because... He's kind of the I'm getting a certain unit. But, but this is a Lywood story, so he has no need. Anyway. Marcus, he's pretty much actually He's kind of iffy. Oh yeah. Is a life what I would well? We've heard nothing but foul rumor his hereabouts. Our fairies worry for his well-being. We will we'll hear 
be here telling him that Lywood is going to find the Marquise. This dragon shield is our village treasure. It boosts the fence of the one who uses it. Take it in, please. He's made it see that you who and Lord Alive Ebert hurt home safely. And we get a dragon shield. Anyway, the reason why I kind of say Marcus is kind of weird, he is part of that archetype that... Hurt that well. that archetype where he's pretty much much going to be an experience sponge for all your weaker units. But here's the thing, Marcus, this is part of those that can actually prove to be decent at the end. And basically, he is, is an anomaly to say the least. Oh crap, he's after Demi! Oh wait, Rebecca. Why did I call her Demi? That's supposed to be a secret stone's unused name. Uh, I forget I said that. Anyway. Then we have our... our lord himself, Eliwood. Ian put him best in our Fire Emblem podcast. He can simultaneously be either your best lord, or your absolute worst lord. To be honest, it's pretty damn... I'm correct when you put it like that. Alright. Well, I would use your... Use the dragon shield I gave you. Dorcas, come here. There's a young traveler sta been staying in, in with the magistrate. Been staying in the village a few days now. I know you think it's just another good for nothing courtier. We're looking for a handout, but there's something more to this one. Those eyes. Name is nothing. Got a mission that one has. Not sure if he is talking about. I'm honestly not sure if he's talking about... Oh, t not the tactician or not. Or a.k.a. me. Well, that was an odd glitch. You got some skill with weapons, but do you understand weapon levels? The more you use a weapon, the more skilled you become. Still, you can only reach the highest le level with a single weapon. But look at you, I think that will be a while before it happens. You're talking to Botre about that! Well, then again... His skill is nothing to be proud of just yet. I'm in the woods. But you can't get me. Alright. As per usual, I plan on a lot. I have pretty much making a Lywood top priority for our level ups because, well, lords. But really? Vulnaries? Alright, who needs them? Oh, what? Dorcas, when did you get an energy ring? Uh, wait, did I forget to trade that off, off to Lynn last chapter? Or during my retry? Oh, well, guess who's getting that now? Alright. Thus far, it looks like Marcus is getting me. Alright, Dorcas, you need a culinary. Lywood, you're good. Wow, everyone but Lywood and... and... and Rebecca needs a culinary. Oh, crap! 
Um, free kill for Dork or her, whoever I decide to kind of have finish him. You know what? Just, just because this is not not Hector's story doesn't mean I can't give Botry some love. The fucker kind of needs it. Oh yeah. In case you guys were wondering what I meant earlier by say, hey, wanting to wanting to train up certain units before Lin's story ends, well, let me put it this way: hey, whatever levels they get gets transferred over. So, Dorcas is pretty much a level six fighter right now because of well, the occasional uses I gave him. Let's give Lywood the energy ring because, well... Yeah. Again, Vulnerys are kind of your best friends. So, use them effectively. Especially when you have no healers at the moment. I'm just going to ease on down a bit. Alright, that should do it. Oh, so an archer has came. Alright, well I would... And show us what the father of the Red Lion of Foray himself can do. And no! I am not even kidding on that! Elywood is the father of Roy. I know, spoilers much, but... Trust me, Roy only makes a minor cameo at the end, so... It's not much of a spoiler. In fact, me and Ian pretty, pretty much in our... Our Fire Emblem... Um, podcast pretty much it's made it abundantly clear here yeah, that that's the case please and you guys pretty much know what our feelings are when it came to Roy as a lord he was absolute crap, to put it lightly. <laughs> Which is kind of fitting for the guy that's pretty much inconsistent. Alright, as per... As one would expect, I am going to do what I call... All the Lundgren strategy, where pretty much... Everyone with a ranged weapon... And is going to soften in this fucker up, Gronzly. Who is pretty damn pathetic! Seriously, at least Bada gave me bo gave me worries. And that's because of the freaking tutorials. But as I said in that earlier, the train bra is off. Oh, and we are ready to kick some ass. That's on our own. Alright. Well, I would recover that one HP. Alright, Lowen. That's... Oh, God. I just saw that hit rate. What is this? A pack of children coming to play? You think you can charge me? What the fray night? But it's impossible! Oh, it's possible. Sadly, it's not the heavy hitters. Here's for us. Actually, and by sadly, I mean sadly for us. It's not the heady, heavy heavy hitters. <laughs> really? We are not having another Carlisle in this guy. Oh, for God's sake. We're having another Carl Carlisle in this guy. But I am going to do something I want to do for 
or Lynn story, but the tutorial was like, <laughs> not gonna happen. Anyway. Actually hit this time! Yes! Thank God! That makes me a happy wolf. Or DJK, or whatever you want to call me. Aww. That on the other hand doesn't make me a happy wolf or DJ car or whatever. Yeah, I don't trust my luck. Not for the time being. Does the village heal? Oh, for God's sakes, it heals him. Not good. Um, yeah, Marcus? Can you do me a real solid and... And buy another vulnerary for Lywood. <laughs> Alright. And you piss off! I said piss off! Why won't you piss off already? Thank you! Uh, I thought my luck was finally turning around. Uh. And we get a level 4 Lywood. Mm, uh, not much for me to say about that. Yes, a Lywood is the main lord of this series. Ah! You, you would be a lord of Lywood, yes? Our deepest thanks for coming day to our village. To our fair village. But take nothing of it. It's the Lord's duty to protect the citizenry. Unless you're America. I'm just kidding! <laughs> that... Would that... Uh, uh, would, would that were be tr Would that... That be... Would that were true, my lord. The good folk have lost no... S no such pr protection. The Marquis, Lord Darren, is too busy preparing for war. He ignores all the complaints, means of bandits and thieves. Preparing for the war, are you sure? I would not lie, my lord. My brother lives in Lhasa until a few days ago. His home was torched, and he had no choice is but to flee be here. According to him, Loss could be at war any day now. It's all all the people Oz were talking about. Loyal Lywood. If this is as true, this the situation is a grave one. If Marquis Loss is raiding for war, this target is most likely another Lycian territory. Perhaps this is connected to Lord Lywood Lybert's disappearance. My father and Mar my father and Marquis Loss? He's a, he's a, he a, a tenuous connection, but it's a good start as any. Let us travel the loss. We, uh, we must learn more. Thank you for your guides, DGK. Where are you bound for next? If you have no destination in mind, perhaps you can travel with us. Our small group is a, is a single Oh, purpose to find my father. I do not know where the little road will, will lead, but we would be stronger if you, with you and our company. Sure, why not? You will travel with us? Splendid! Thank you! I pray we gave no cause uh, as no, to no regret at your decision. Tongue twist much for me. Rebecca, where do you think you're going, young lady? Father, I, I intend to accompany Lord Lywood. Don't be ridiculous, girl. Lord Lywood is going on a, is not going on a picnic. He's running into danger. I know, Father. That's why I want to go. Be all my lives. I want to repay him. My bow may not not be all all that much, but I know oh, I can be a service. But. 
my mustache says so, you can't leave. And father, shut up about your s mustache. I might meet up with my brother somewhere. I honestly don't know where your brother is. Who your brother is? I am going to check real quick. Considering what my research has shown, her brother is at least said to be one guy we're not gonna meet for a good while. That's actually a guy that I usually try to use. Your magistrate. You're the magistrate. You have you have responsibilities. I. This is all I can offer. I need this, Father. Pl please. I need this. Please, Father. Let me go. Dear me, you're almost as stubborn as your mother was. As even she called my mustache stupid. I'm sorry, Father. You must... You must... You must, bro. I'll do a loyal lie with wishes on this matter. If he consents, you may go. Thank you, Father. Lorelei, Bert... Bert ha has always been kind to us. Follow his son, and with a true heart, Rebecca. Serve a lie would well, as I have served his father. Of course I'm not helping. Because are you kidding me? I'm not I'm risking this mustache. I will, father. I will, father. Well, that, that was truly something. But I honestly doubt I would be able to do another chapter without, well, going over an hour, so... Next time, we'll do Chapter 12. Well, a.k.a. Birds of a Feather. See you guys next time. And also, and in that, during that time, it would be after speaking with the village magistrate with the bushy mustache. Okay, bye.